Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to prove some of the properties of determinants. According to the first property, the value of a determinant remains unchanged if its rows and columns are interchanged, which implies that if we interchange the rows into columns, the value of a determinant remains unchanged. Let us find the value of the determinant. Now element 2 is present the first row and first column. Its sum is equal to 2. Since 2 is an even number, so we have a positive sign. On deleting the row and the column in which element 2 is present, we are left with elements 0, 4, 2, 1. Now element 1 is present in first row and second column. Now since its sum is equal to 3, 3 is an odd number, so we have a negative sign. On deleting the row and the column in which element 1 is present, we are left with elements 3, 4, 1, 1. Next, element 3 is present in the first row and third column. Since its sum is equal to 4, which is an even number, therefore we have a positive sign. On deleting the row and the column in which element 3 is present, we are left with elements 3, 0, 1, 2. Let us simplify further. Interchanging the rows and columns we have, let us write the first row as first column, 2, 1, 3, the second row as second column, and the third row as third column. Let us find its determinant. Therefore, on interchanging the rows and columns, we find that the value of the determinant remains unchanged. Let us prove the second property. According to the second property, if any two rows or columns of a determinant are interchanged, the value of the determinant is changed by minus sign. Let us find the value of the determinant. Now, element 3 is present in the first row and first column its sum is equal to 2 2 is an even number therefore we have a positive sign now on deleting the row and the column in which element 3 is present we are left with elements 2 1 0 1 next element 2 is present in first row and second column its sum is equal to 3 3 is an odd number therefore we have a negative sign on deleting the row and the columns, we are left with elements 1, 1, 4, 1. Next, element 2 is present in the first row and third column. Its sum is equal to 4. 4 is an even number. Therefore, we have a positive sign. On deleting the row and the column, we are left with elements 1, 2, 4, 0. Let us simplify further. Interchanging the first row with the second row we have, here we are going to rewrite the elements of the second row as elements of the first row 
and elements of the first row as elements of the second row. Now let us find its determinant. Therefore, on interchanging the first row with the second row, we can see that the value of the determinant is changed by minus sign. Let us prove the third property. According to the third property, if all the elements of a row or column is multiplied by a non-zero number, say k, then the value of the new determinant is k times the value of the original determinant. Let us multiply the first row by scalar 5. The remaining two rows remain as it is. Let us find its determinant. So the value of the determinant equal 15. Next let us find the value of the original determinant. The original determinant contains elements 2, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2. Four minus one equals three. Now multiplying the value of the original determinant by five, we have five times three equals 15. Therefore, if all elements of the first row is multiplied by a scalar five, the value of the new determinant is five times the value of the original determinant. Let us proceed to proof property four. According to property 4, if each element of any row or column consists of two or more terms, then the determinant can be expressed as the sum of two or more determinants. Let us find the value of the determinant. Twenty minus fifteen equals five. Expressing the determinant as the sum of two determinants we have, let us take the first term of the elements present in the first column, that is two, three, one, and also the remaining elements two, one, one, two, and three, one. Plus. Now let us take the second term of the elements present in the first column that is 1, 2, 4 and the remaining elements let us proceed to find the values of both the determinants
minus 4 plus 9 equals 5. Therefore, if each element of the first column consists of two terms, then the determinant can be expressed as the sum of two determinants. Let us prove the fifth property. According to the fifth property, the value of the determinant is unchanged if any row or column is multiplied by a number and then added to any other row or column. Let us find the value of the determinant. Let us multiply the first row by 2 and then add it with the second row. 2 times 2 equals 4, 4 plus 1 equals 5, 2 times 1 equals 2, 2 plus 4 equals 6, 2 times 2 equals 4, 4 plus 1 equals 5. Let us find the value of the determinant. Nineteen minus twenty six equals minus seven. Therefore, the value of the determinant remains unchanged if we multiply the first row by two and then add it with the second row. Let us prove property six. According to this property, if any two rows or columns of a determinant are identical, then its value is zero. In this particular example, the first column and third column are identical. Let us find the value of this determinant. Therefore, if any two rows or columns of a determinant are identical, then its value is 0. Let us prove property 7. According to this property, if each element of a row or column of a determinant is 0, then its value is 0. In this particular determinant, each element of the second column is 0. Let us find the value of the determinant. Therefore, if each element of a row or a column of a determinant is 0, then its value is 0.